Welcome, brother. If you're a man who is trying to end his out-of-control behavior with pornography, sex, or masturbation, then this video is for you. I'm JK Maisie. I'm the head coach at the Porn Reboot Coaching Systems, and today we're going to talk about how to easily build habits in your porn reboot, which is the process of ending your out-of-control behavior. In our system, there are a few stages to ending your behavior. There's the pre-reboot, the early reboot, the middle reboot, the late reboot, and the final stage, which is maintenance. Now, one realization in the late stage of your reboot is that the mind does not make you avoid urges. It doesn't make you use the tools. It doesn't make you maintain boundaries. It doesn't make you engage in self-care or stay accountable. With continued practice of the porn reboot system, by setting what we call intention, you naturally and automatically begin to do these things. You don't need willpower. Now, when you don't need to use willpower and you begin to notice that your mind automatically uses the tools, the boundaries, automatically implements the self-care externally without being prompted, you are now entering what we call maintenance stage. Let me give you an idea of how it works. Remember when you were a kid and you were learning how to play catch, right? Somebody throws the ball to you and you catch it. You rarely caught the ball the first time, but over time and through many repeated failed and successful attempts to catch, you realized that catching the ball had less to do with worrying about if or how to catch. And it had more to do with the intention to catch the ball. So it's not about, oh my God, when, how do I catch it? No, it's just like, I'm going to catch the ball. Now, when you play catch, you just set the intention and you catch the ball, but you can't set the intention until you practice and you failed a few times. My point is, brothers, it's simple. Intention leads to actions and repeated actions become your habits. And that is how you build up what we call reboot habits the habits that are necessary for you to end your out of control behavior. When you build up the habits, anybody can do that. You see people talking about no fap and changing habits and all these other methods. A lot of them just end with habit change, but that's not enough. You need to move on from the habit to lifestyle, which means you need to maintain the habits, incorporate them into your life. They become a part of your lifestyle. Now, as you go through your regular life, living your lifestyle, you are going to come across different challenges. You are going to work on different areas of your reboot capital. You might get into a relationship. You might get a new job. You might move to a new environment. You might get divorced. You might lose things in life. You might go through pain. You might have health issues. But guess what? During this time, you don't just have habits. See, if you just had habits, all these things I mentioned would completely throw your habits out of the window. You know how it is when you move to a new place or you get sick, but when they become a part of your lifestyle, they will always stay there. But as you go through the trials and tribulations with a consistent reboot lifestyle, guess what happens? It becomes a part of your self image, who you are, how you see yourself. Habits, lifestyle, self image. And once you have that self image, my brother, that's when you never have a problem with pornography or whatever your out of control sexual behavior might be. I hope that made sense to you. I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section below. Again, my name is JK Amazie and I am the head coach at the Porn Reboot Coaching System. You can check us out. Click on the link in the description below. There are links to our free resources, our free courses. You can get on a call with me or one of my team members. And we can help you control your behavior within 90 days. That's our promise to you. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. I'll speak to you later on in the week.